Hi folks, here's uh, some time-lapse footage of the whole part. We had a lot of questions in the comments uh, on the videos leading up to the machining. How long do you think it's gonna take? How long did it take? We made the part over two and a half days just on the machining side. Um, just that's how we run our business. I get interrupted, we hop on between different things. Um, and it, which is fine, that doesn't bother me. I don't, that doesn't necessarily take more time to do it that way. But if I had nothing else going on, I could focus solely on this. Honestly, this is still, I think, a two-day project with, with probably one full um, eight-hour shift of machining time, which is a lot. If we take a look, um, you know, here in the cam simulation, I show a total sum of uh, 150 minutes, so about two and a half hours of machining time. Now, keep in mind, we're using a machine that is not a machine you would buy or invest in to profitably make these in production. If I had to do it again, um, and I had a b even bigger machine, first of all, definitely buy raw material that's thicker. That way, we would never have had to flip the part and worry as much about the, uh, let's see, where do we flip it? Um, the cleanup down here. It's just so much easier. You would basically hold the part with excess stock, more excess stock down here in the bottom and then you could do the full profile of the part in one fell swoop. Way better uh, way to machine this part. And the extra cost of raw material is negligible. And then the other big difference is, is simply machine power. Having a more rigid machine that had low RPM torque, so you could take, I actually remember in the Brian Block shop tour video just a few weeks ago, he had one of these, I think there was a two inch and a four inch uh, side mill or shell mill, insert tool from Kenna Metal. I, I gotta think a tool like that would make quick work, again, running in a, in a big DMC um, to, to really carve out the sides of this thing. And you could make this part, I think the total machine time could be, I'm making this up at half an hour, uh, but I'm just sharing, to be honest, for me, a, a two day project, you know, one day to really go through all the CAD, the back and forth with the customer. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm inclined to say we could do it faster, but look, um, it, it's a lot of little work, and I, I think that's one of the reasons why uh, it can be tough to run a job shop profitably on a one-off because you know you guys decide what you want to earn per hour, but it's not uncommon to hear shop rates from 60 bucks to maybe 100 bucks, and then you've got to factor in raw material, and you've got to decide are you trying to earn 60 bucks yourself, or does that also include an ROI on the machine, or if you've got lease payments or financing payments, does that? How do you factor that in? We talked about a lot of this stuff in our video on how we quote work. Um, we did this part as a favor for Adam, so, so that we're clear. Adam paid for the material and the shipping. Um, but, you know, I don't know what I would charge for this part if it were just a one-off to a, a customer, but it would probably be, um, you know, I, I'm gonna say between 700 and 900 bucks, which is maybe a deal breaker, probably a deal breaker. Um, maybe we're way out of line. I didn't, I'm really talking off the cuff here. Anyway, um, just wanted to share some comments. If we do one of these again, I'll try to do like a stopwatch that we can hit while we go along to keep really good track of the machine time. I find that um, the machine estimates here, so like if we click on one of these and we go to uh, machining time, it's really not bad, it's just not perfect. Here it's saying three minutes and 38 seconds. That's based on rapid feed rates and a tool changer time and so forth. I really rely on those, they're maybe within 10%. I really rely on them just to understand, hey, am I talking about something that's 10 minutes or two hours, especially when it comes to things like that, uh, you know, that parallel step over path. So here's some uh, time-lapse footage, folks. Enjoy, see you later. 